Hello and a very warm welcome. Seven days to lights out in Melbourne. I cannot wait. It's like being a little kid at Christmas. You cannot wait for Christmas Day. You believe Santa's real. And then ten years later you find out that he's not. But this is what it feels like. Seven days to go. I cannot wait. It's five days till we get to practice. It's four days. Four days the press conference. Five days practice. Six days for qualifying. Seven days for lights out. And then we finally get to see who is the quickest. Are Ferrari really the fastest? With Mercedes behind. We've got so many if, buts, maybes. It, um, teammates battles. People going to new teams. Is Stroll going to prove himself that he's not a cash driver and he's got talent? Is Hulkenberg going to beat Ricardo? Is Kubica going to be as good as he was? It, it, Sainz and Norris, how are they going to get on? Inexperienced lineup for the iconic team McLaren. How are they going to get on? You've got uh, inexperience at Toro Rosso. It, Albon's probably, for me, I think Albon can beat Kvyat. You've got Valtteri Bottas under massive pressure, has to deliver, has to push Hamilton for the title. He's got to be in the title fight. If he's not, he's adios. Um, who else we got? Charles Leclerc. How many races can he win on his debut season in Ferrari? Red Bull. Can Pierre Gasly win a race? To drive for Red Bull, you've got to be capable of winning a race. Can he do that in his first season? Max, is he going to be given a car to challenge with? And then, I can't wait. It's seven days away. Holy shit. I'll be up. I'll be up at three, four. I think the race is on at six o'clock in the UK. Coverage starts at half four, so it's an early one, as Australia always is. Let's be honest, Albert Park, Melbourne. It's been on the calendar years. It's always the first race. Well, usually. One time we had Bahrain as the first race, but that never worked. So we went back to Australia. Australia is not a great track, in my opinion. It's not very good. I mean, very little opportunity to overtake. Down the pitch straight. Down the next one, through the DRS zone. That's an opportunity. Then you've got a tight section. Then you've got going down into the little chicane. Then you come out, get close to the wall. That's an opportunity. Then you've got the uh, left, fast left, right. And then another DRS zone. That's an opportunity. And then you're back to twisty to end the lap. So Albert Park for me is not a great circuit. I believe Ferrari will win it. They won it last year. Yeah. But Hamilton got pole, didn't he? Hamilton got pole, but Ferrari won the race. Um they always seem to start well, Ferrari. But Kubica, is he going to be as good? Can Russell take the fight to Kubica? These are the stories we're going to find out. I mean, I'm excited. I cannot wait. Like I said, it's like being a little kid at Christmas. And you just can't wait for the day to come. But yeah. Oh, shit, shit, shit. It really is. Clench your ass cheeks time. But it's going to be a long seven days, you just know it, but lights out. Who's going to win the first race? What's the order going to be? It's just, I mean, there's team battles all over. There's so many if, buts, maybes, like, what's going to happen in this season? And we're going to find out. We've got Australia, Bahrain, and first couple of races, we'll find out the pecking order. Hulkenberg, is he finally going to get that awaited podium? Kimi Raikkonen, I've not even mentioned Alfa Romeo because Raikkonen's going to batter Giovinazzi every single week. It's just bound to happen. I'll be astounded if Raikkonen can't put away a rookie, an Italian rookie. With all Raikkonen's experience, Raikkonen going to a new team. He's finally the team leader. He's never been the team leader in Ferrari for God knows how long. He's been Vettel's lapdog. Is Charles Leclerc going to be Vettel's lapdog? Or is he going to be able to take the fight to him? Is Bottas going to be Hamilton's lapdog for a second year? Valtteri, it's James. Valtteri, it's James. 
you're not good enough to drive for the Mercedes. He's got he's got to take the fight. If he doesn't take the fight, he's out. And then Ocon will be back or Russell will be in. There's always someone pouncing at the door and available to drive. So if you don't deliver... For me, I, I'm astounded he kept his seat, to be honest. Yes, he played the number two well. Yes, he helped Mercedes to another constructors. But not to win a race in the best car is a sackable offence. And I'd be saying the same if Lewis Hamilton didn't win a race in the Mercedes. It, it's not good enough. Kimi Raikkonen, he won one race last year. And what a win that was. We loved that. Everyone loved that. But it's seven days away. This F1 season, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. And we'll be bringing, as usual, purely reaction videos. We'll be doing qualifying reaction. As soon as they go off the, across the line at Albert Park. Oh, we're coming around the final corner. And it's a 1 minute 23. Sebastian Vettel's on pole. I get my camera out. I react. Pull up the video. Same in the race. 58 laps round Albert Park. Cross the line. I get the order. I react. And then we'll be doing driver ratings probably on the Monday. And uh, three videos. I mean, driver ratings are actually good because just a different perspective. I cannot wait till the start of the season, honestly. I mean, pr I think practice is on. 1.45, 12.45, it's going to be, a lot of coffee is going to be needed. But the passion, the adrenaline drives you through to get up at these times. I mean, if I can't watch it, I've always got it to record, but I can't help myself. I'll be up, I'll be up at 1.45, then practice will be on at like 4.45, 5.45, then I've got to go out at 8 o'clock. And I'll be out for like most of the day. So I'm literally going to be out. And where where I'm going, I'm, I'm literally going to be nodding off like this. I'm literally going to have no sleep. I maybe get like a couple of hours. But this is what you do. I can't. I'm just addicted to it. I have to get up. I have to watch it live. If, if I don't watch it live, some prick will tell me the result. Like, oh, you know Hammer on one. No, I didn't actually. I've not watched it yet, but cheers, dickhead, for telling me. Or with the way the internet is, it pops up uh, headlines. So, yeah, we're seven days away from Lights Out. We're four days away from the press conference on Thursday. Then we've got Friday practice, practice one and two. Then Saturday, we've got practice three qualifying. And then Sunday, it's Lights Out. And away we go in the 2018, uh, 2018, no, 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 cuts. Oh shit, live we are. Bollocks. Yeah, we are live and if I make a fuck up like that, it's pub publicised. Oh shit. We are away for the 2019 season. And then we'll be underway for the season. And it's a long season, 21 races again. Wow. A bit. We've got no new tracks this year, have we? Usually we always have a new track. Probably be going to New York in a couple of years as well. I cannot wait. Seven days away from Lights Out in Albert Park. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments. Who's going to be the champion? Who's going to win the first race? Are Red Bull going to be competitive? Is Kubitz going to be as good as he is? Is Hulkenberg getting his podium? Is Ricardo winning a race in Renault? Torpedo, how good is he going to be? Is he going to be dropped after three races? Is Raikkonen going to pull Juvenazzi's pants down? Yes. Um, McLaren, inexperienced lineup. How are they going to cope? It's all questions for the beautiful sport that we love. I've not even mentioned Haas F1. Totally forgot about Haas F1. Haas F1 are a solid team. Just consistent. Two drivers. They'll do a solid job. I cannot wait. Hopefully these seven days, well, four, four days, press conference, five days. Practice, hope they go quick and we can finally get on the track and get them times pumped in. Thanks for watching. Comment down below. We'll always reply. I'll see you next time. Adios.